Greetings, oral history students. These are uh, video directions for day 16. Basically, you're tasked to read and respond to topic seven, lesson one, aggression, appeasement, war, and label a map of Europe. Okay. So, uh, here's how you want to approach the reading. First of all, as always is the case, you're going to need to open up the textbook and your packet. Is this the packet I want? No. I want the packet I can manipulate. So if yours isn't up, here's what you do. Go into the nine squares. Nine dots, nine squares. Let's take you to Google Apps. You can move around this picture if you're ever doing a screencastify, by the way. And then choose Docs. All I got to do is just go into this, and you'll see the one you're working on, especially with someone recently. T. Smith. So this is the one I want because I had already been editing it. So this is the one you want to stay with. So I have the lecture notes already in there. So we're going to skip to page three. We're going to skip to page two lecture. We'll come back to that Monday, Tuesday next week. Basically, you want to get to where you're at 7.1 and on the correct assignment. Okay. Then open up Clever. Hopefully, you have a tab somewhere like I do. I open up Clever. Took me to here. And I do Pearson Easy Bridge. And I do Pearson Realize. That should open up your textbook. What are you talking about? I just logged in. Okay. Clearly, sometimes we have issues logging into things. So here's what you want to do. Back all the way out. Try again. If that doesn't work, reopen Clever. And try again. You can also use your textbook. Um, it might be easier just to use your textbook because um, then you're not flipping back and forth. You could have just your computer on your doc, electronic document. But I don't have that option because uh, I don't really want to use the book and I want to show you how to do it this way too. All right, topic seven, lesson one. Always before you start, double check that the one, use the textbook one. See the little book? And two, once it opens, aggression, appeasement, and war. Make sure it matches where you're answering. Aggression, appeasement, war, 7.1. Looks like a good match. Now, I don't want to be clicking back and forth, right? So we're going to do the screen share that I, and this is why I had you do the tab resize. So. What you want to do is read the caption that goes with the picture. We're going to rebuild this military in defiance of the Treaty of Versailles. Here are troops stand at attention at a rally. See the numbers? See the, all the icons of the Nazi party with the swastika and the typical helmet? These are the objectives. Talks about how the Western democracies respond, significance of the Spanish Civil War how German aggression led Europe into World War II. Go ahead and read through the terms. Appeasement, pacifism, neutrality, acts, access powers, forces. Franco, Anschluss, Sudetenland, Nazi Soviet pack. I would recommend playing the video right now. As a way to introduce the topic. But I'm not going to play it for you here because time is an issue. All right. Then choose, then open up your doc. If you want, you can go ahead and just do the terms first. If that makes you happy. But again, you don't want to be slip, switching back and forth. Right? So let's click on the tab resize. Personally, on, on this one, I like to do 
top and bottom. Uh, like the reading above. And the textbook below. I'm going to go ahead and define appeasement. And whenever I'm doing a definition like this, I always try to change the words a little. Giving it to an aggressor, peace. Usually, see, I'm just adding this little. I have to learn this. So if I just type it in word for word, I'm not going to learn it as well as if I change a little. Usually just encourages bullies. I don't really like these pop-ups I keep getting, but what am I going to do about it? Hopefully it goes away. So I do that one, and I might go through and just go ahead and do all the terms right now, and then start doing the reading. Just wanted you to see how one went. And I'll scroll to the first real question. Looks like we got, how does the cartoonist criticize appeasement? And then just de de describe Japanese aggression. I'm gonna click into the reading, choose next. And I'd probably make this one come over. And I might play it or I might read it. However, I prefer to read on my own. That's how I would do it. And just keep going back and forth. We're going to get to the Italian aggression. It's mostly in order. Sometimes it's not. This will be the cartoon. Look carefully at it. And then just keep going with the process and finish that. Hopefully that was enough to give you some guidance on how to approach the reading. Uh, good luck. Make sure you also get the map done on the map. After you finish all this reading, you're going to have to take on the map. Let's go ahead and take a quick peek on that. Basically, all I want you to do is the labeling. You can skip questions five through eight. Go ahead and skip. You want to do a strike through. Go ahead. wanted to do a strike through on this one. 
go ahead. All you got to do is click format, roll over text, and then strike through. This is we're, we're cutting it because it's going to be difficult to do digitally. Just like that. So then just go ahead and label everything. You can use your book, but make sure it's a map of 1942 Europe. Uh, I think there's going to be pictures in the book. That'll work just nicely. Let's see if we can see any real quick. Any maps of Europe books? None there. Let's go ahead and make this one bigger. Let's do this. This one looks pretty good for this task. Let's try this one. And yeah, that one's good. I'll go ahead and put this in the assignment. Make it nice and easy on you. If that one has something missing that you need to finish the map activity, then just pull up a different map. Looks like this has most of it though. We got Berlin, Warsaw. Let's see. Berlin, Moscow, Stalingrad. You might need a little bit extra help with the Eastern ones. Oh, no, it looks good. I think this one should do fine. Okay. Anyway, hope that all helps. And I'll play the next video when there is something else to show you how to do. Hope it goes well. Make sure you do all of the reading for 7.1 and get all the map of 1944 Europe labeled. And that concludes this video.